Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Massachusetts by the Bee Gees. All right, you need a G chord. This is your intro. They just stay on it. Four measures, uh, for the most part. Uh, every time I heard it played, whatever. So you got a G chord, uh, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second, first string, uh, first string, third fret. <laughs> Okay, and our strum pattern for most of the song is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. Just that nice, easy. Okay, so when we have a chord that's a whole measure, I'm going to give it that whole pattern. Okay, so that's your intro. It's just on a G chord. They're just kind of cruising in. Now, when the words come in, um, we'll call this uh, verse one. It follows this pattern, and uh, it's going to repeat that for verse two. So once you learn it, you pretty much have the whole song down. So, uh, just slight variations. So we got a G, to an A minor, to a C, to a G chord. Stay on the G. And then A minor, to C, back to G. And then when the lights all went down, it stays on G. So Massachusetts is C. That's your verse, okay? So, uh, we got, let's go over the verse now. So we got a G chord for one pattern, then we go to an A minor, and we're going to do a shorter pattern. It's going to be down, down, up, and then a C chord is down, down, up, and that's how they get through that, that measure, okay? So A minor is fourth string, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. And then you just have to lift up your ring finger, Put it on the 5th uh, string 3rd fret, you got your C chord. So the C is the 5th string 3rd fret, 4th string 2nd, 2nd string 1st. Okay? So, uh, and then uh, let me give you the other chord. It's only one other chord in the song. Uh, D chord, 3rd string, 1st string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret. Mute that 6th string. Okay, now you got all the chords you need. You just have to learn the pattern. So let's go over the pattern again. We got a verse is a G, short strum on A minor, C, and then long strum on G for twice. Stay on the G for a third time, and then the A minor short, the C short, G again, two times, and then the Massachusetts, uh, the G, uh, the lights in Massachusetts, and then the, the C chord for two, and then G for one, D for one, for one, then back to D for one. It's hard to yell out the chords and some of the lyrics at the same time. I'll screw that up every time. That's usually why I don't sing. All right, that and the fact that I can't. All right, so that's verse one and two. They just repeat that pattern. Verse three is really easy. It's even shorter. It's the same pattern to a point. So verse three is G, A minor to C to G chord. Stays on the G to Massachusetts is C and then a G. He slows down and he hits it, but they hit a D and they let it ring for four beats. And now we're off to the outro, which is wicked simple. It's a G, A minor, C, and it repeats. on the performance. I counted six times in the one that I watched. I don't know if they do it the same time every time, but... And then you would just end on a G chord. I don't know how many times I played it, so don't count. But uh, uh, I, I think they were on a talk show at one point, so it's really easy to see what they were doing. Um, so you got your intro, which is just a G chord. You're just hanging out on a G chord, waiting for the song to start, you know, really the singing to start. Then you got your verse, and then you repeat it, and then the third verse you repeat it, and it just instead of doing uh, G, D, G, D for the last line, they do G, and then they stop the D, and then they say something about Massachusetts, and then they're back, and then the outro is just a G, 
to the A minor, C, and it repeats that, and then you end on a G chord. Hope I didn't go too fast. I don't know. You got your intro, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, which is where you stop the D chord, and then you got your outro. Wicked simple. One of the simplest songs out there. Only four chords, and they're all easy chords. Play more guitar, please, and uh, any comments down below. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks.